What you are seeing right now is not a typical video. It is a 3D reconstruction of a scene from multiple images by an AI. And what's even cooler is that you can control the camera's position, whether you want it to be more stable, move in a circular motion, or just panning while the scene moves or freezes. Long story short, this is basically like a combination of 3D photo and painting and neural radiance fields. The usage that I put to use in my past videos were really different, but fundamentally, both are AI papers related to depth estimation. It's just that one of them focuses on estimating the depth from an image, and the other focuses on the reconstruction of depth from multiple images, and even projecting the object in a 3D space. So in this new AI paper called Neural Scene Flow Fields, it is able to achieve the same key effects as 3D photo and painting, and even more accurately as the scene is constructed with more depth information. And all the information was learned by the AI from the different perspectives of the images that were projected. While the key advantage for 3D photo in painting is that it only uses one image to estimate image depth, so there are both pros and cons. But as we can see here, this is definitely a huge step up from neural radiance fields, especially in the depth estimation aspect. I am personally unsure whether neural scene flow fields can extract an object from 300 degrees view like what neural radiance fields can, but NSFF is much more accurate than NERF when it comes to depth estimation from a similar viewpoint with the same input. And right now, all of the inputs are really distinct images that look horribly choppy when played together. So what if the input from NSFF is smoother video instead? How well exactly does that improve the depth estimation? Well, just look at this input video first. And now, let's witness some really unusual footage. As you can see, the camera is held at a specific spot while the kid is walking towards the left of the screen. This is not just another camera set up on a tripod, this is a synthesized camera perspective and it's a fixed view time interpolation of that scene. The time is flowing, but we are stuck at the very first frame while the kid walks away. How cool is that? On the other hand, if we look at it in a fixed time view interpolation, we will witness something called in a way, the time is frozen and we can move around the scene and look at it from different perspectives. Or you can activate both the time and the view, which is called the space-time interpolation, and you can see how both new views and stable movements are being produced. Similarly to the original video, but now you can have custom camera angles. This can definitely become a great tool for video stabilization. And in the official demo, they even demonstrated how it'll look compared to traditional 2D video stabilization methods. To clarify my clickbait title, NSFF is not solely dedicated to perform video stabilization, but I will say one of the strong suits is definitely that. And it also comes with other cool depth estimation information too, and they look insanely sharp and accurate. And this can definitely be very useful for VFX and particle effects. Effects. However, all good things have reality checks. There is a huge downside of an SFF, which is for a 24 frames video, it requires training on two GPUs for two days straight, which is crazy long and also the AI is hard to operate. Even I struggle to make a run. But here's a potential good news. This research is being done by people from Adobe Research, so there may be hope that this could eventually be implemented into After Effects and other Adobe products. But hey, this is just a speculation. The research itself remains open sourced, so you can check it out yourself if you are interested. Even though a 24 frames video takes really long to be fully constructed in 3D, this is definitely some 2 minute papers moment where a few papers down the line it will probably become a truly groundbreaking and practical technique where a a lot of people can benefit from. And with the amount of new AI tools popping out one after another, are you also inspired to use any of the AIs you see on my channel or even on the web for your cool business ideas? Well, this can easily become a reality with our new sponsor 27stars. 27stars is a London-based development company that creates custom tailored web and mobile applications for businesses of all sizes. They are a bunch of really experienced and nice people and they were actually kind enough to sponsor my videos and also provide an exclusive 10% and discount for all my viewers who are utilizing their services. All you have to do is to include my name in the initial email to receive the discount. And by working with them, you are also indirectly supporting my channel, which allows me to create more cool content in the future. Also, a big shout out to Connie and many other Patreons that support my work through Patreon. And if you really want to run an SFF, join my Discord and I can provide you with some advices. Follow my Twitter if you haven't, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.